Rostkowsters don't get knocked out, and that has been the case for Patty Pimplett, at least to this point in his UFC career. Outstanding pedigree coming in, and he's got another big fight in front of him tonight, DC. And he's going to continue to get big fights, because when you have that thing, when you have that it factor about you, people want to tune in. That is what Patty Pimplett has in spades. But not only can he fight, no, I'm sorry, but not only can he draw people in, the guy can fight. He's a tremendous grappler, and he has confidence like not many guys that we've seen at such a young age in their career. And don't let the out-of-camp body composition fool you, because this man has a work ethic that rivals anybody in this division. Huge spot for Patty Pimblett tonight. Fathers really of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ready to make a statement here tonight. Our tale of the date for this lightweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars inside the octagon of Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Lightweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Herb Dean, our third Great man fight. in the octagon for this Great. one. Good. All right, here's Bruce Lee getting ready for another UFC start as we begin round one. So fast, so quick, so good at setting up striking angles, and it's hard to simulate the speed and training. I know the opponent has talked a lot about trying to find training partners to simulate Bruce Lee. Easier said than done. Bruce Lee trying to get off to a good start tonight. kick lands. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a ton behind it. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Oh! Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. And that one certainly found the target. Can't take that hole. You better check. Now to go in this one. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up. Is he smart enough to not be head hunting the entire time? I like this. I like this approach. These boys are standing right in front of each other just kind of going at it. 
Well, he misses with the left punch there. Back to the single. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Trying to set up a choke here. That Dorse is tight. Getting awfully close on the submission now. Submission defense. Hemble gets hit with a kick. A nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume team. Jab, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability for a combination. Some damage being doled out, and now some swelling upstairs on his opponent. Not moving his head effect. He's trying to be face first, but you don't have to prove how tough you are. You gotta move your head, be active. Don't be reactive in your defenses. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, he's in trouble here, DC. He's got the triangle with a lot of pressure going down on his opponent. Arm triangle getting very close. He's got to clear that guard, though, if he wants to find a finish. Oh, look at the fight here. Wow, fantastic submission defense yet again. So there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. Necessarily when you're controlling the center of the octagon. But that's what he's trying to do, keep his opponent on the outside, and he has done just that. He has done a fantastic job of doing that because he's setting traps. As his opponent steps left, he just steps to the left. As his opponent goes right, he goes right. He does not follow. He cuts him off, trying to beat his opponent to where he's going before he gets there. This man understands foot movement. He understands traps. It's great to see someone with that type of knowledge of cornering his opponents. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Oh, the separation of the clinch. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Pimble. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground. Pimblet's going for the leg. Might be a submission opportunity here. Oh, yeah, he's got him. He's tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. He remains in pursuit of the submission, but the defense continues to hold up. I'm not sure he's going to be able to find a finish here. In MMA today, guys are so well-rounded. They're so gifted. It's hard to just lock up a submission, but he continues to try. And in those efforts... Oh, setting up another submission now. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. triangle you do not escape but he remained calm and he found a way to get out and be safe again great job defensively 45 seconds remain in the round Lee getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes all right so the redness is omnipresent attempting a choke now Yep, that gets deep. 
You better protect your neck when you fight this guy because he's got the guillotine locked in. But if he wants to finish, he's got to lock that door. Good job, by the Oh, Round three next. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and Ready, being fight. hopeful that Ready. he can get it back together Good. before the start of the next round. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. Oh, lands another beautiful strike to the body, really starting to connect at will when it comes to work in the body, and especially effective doing it later in this fight. Didn't see a lot of that from him in the earlier rounds. Look at the turtles in that kick. All right, so he continues to attack that area above the knee and digging right into that thumb. He's digging into the thigh. He's doing a great job of recognizing that that's something that he can land, and he has landed in effect. Just unable to quite find that range. He does a great job of getting that leg kick to the target. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Entering in on a single leg takedown attempt here, and he is able to get the fight where he wants it. Nice job. He's got that arm triangle watching pass to the opposite side. It looks real tight. He'll drop his weight to try to finish his technique. Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You've got to make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. Pimblet's really limping now, folks. Looks like the leg kicks are really starting to pay dividends for his opponent. Punch got blocked there. Great job landing that body. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attack. Oh, roundhouse kick. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Ooh, big shot lands. Oh, well, he told us in the fighter meeting he didn't want to be known for his toughness. And yet again, here we are talking about him absorbing. Oh! Could just about do it. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. And they separate after exiting the clinch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Pimblet. He lands a nasty high kick up top. Over and over. Same story. Punch after punch to the head. Potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Listen, listen. Relax, breathe. You're going to be okay. It's fine. We're here before. You just got picked. I need you to go out there and... All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Ready to fight? Ready. All right, here is round four. Fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, fourth round is now underway as we get to the championship rounds. What is a fighter's mindset when you get to this 16th minute? This is what you need. Ooh! He's got to keep pressing here.
Belly continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other one. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this would be a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Come on, let's work. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. Oh, nice kick. Oh, nice kick though. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Just over two minutes to go in the round. A lot of top pressure being applied here. North-South position. And right into side control. That was nice. Oh, right into Mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Lee's in half court. Great job landing from the top position. Lands another strike upstairs, and for his opponent, that is certainly not going to help matters when it comes to the swell. He can't miss, J.A., and when you saw the swelling initially, you knew that he needed to change something. He still has not changed that, and while it's getting worse, it's still not at a point where we should panic. But a few more, and he's going to find himself in a dire situation. Busters up now and lands a vicious head strike. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting it over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we go, fifth and final round. Oh, nice jab up top by Lee. Block that kick to the body. Ooh, nice up cut from the champ. Oh, big kick lands flush. Pillot's left leg appeared to be damaged by that last kick, so could be an emerging storyline as this fight continues. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, nice kick. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. What is a fighter's mentality when you know you need a finish or you're getting an out? This is when you gotta go to the Nate Diaz mentality. Kill or be killed. You gotta throw everything at your opponent because if this thing goes to the judges, you are not gonna win this fight. He's in the mount. He's setting up a beautiful submission. Ooh, that's tight, I'd be tapping. It's starting to get really tight in there. 
Good job by the champ here. Down the slot. Slide back up. Are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. You reverse position on the ground. Beautifully done by him there. Neon belly, big strikes, landing here. Most fighters will tell you offensive wrestling is the hardest, most exhausting thing. Especially if you're just running the guy over. John Lee just gets up. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Outstanding pressure from top position here by Ben. Setting up the sub here. Oh, it's getting deep now, DC. Dude's got a fight on his hands now. <laughs> Working very hard to get this arm bar. As close to the finish, he's got to extend the arm to get him to tap. All right, so the title fight goes the distance. Two of the most exciting words in all of mixed martial arts and new. I think we're going to hear Bruce Buffer utter those very words tonight. And new. And he relied on his striking in order to take the belt from the former champion. He fought beautifully tonight, and we are all proud to call him the new UFC champion. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest. 48-47, 50-45, and 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, and new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Patty the Patty. moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. You're crying. Are you crying? <laughs> I mean, almost a, he 